Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have a review and unboxing of this Jellycomb ergonomic keyboard. This was provided to me for free to review, but as always, all of my thoughts and opinions are my own and they were not influenced in any way. So first of all, let's just get into the unboxing. So you have some branding here um, on the back, just another picture and just like jellycomb.co. Um, dot com so you can like find out where their website is and that but yeah let's just get straight into this keyboard here so here's a tab no unboxing knife or seal here so that's cool and we open up the box and we get the keyboard itself that's, it's pretty heavy actually so i will just take this out first so it's in some nice packaging here to keep it protected in transport which is always uh, always good to have and here is the keyboard in some plastic as well for extra protection so really well packaged I'll put this off to the side there and we'll just get to all the accessories which is just the cable and this time it is type C so the last Jellycomb keyboard that was sent to me for review I did say that um, it was micro USB and I would like to see some type C in the future. I'm happy they've implemented this um, as they've provided a type C cable, which is really cool. So I'm glad they did that. Awesome stuff. And you got the, the gel thing to keep like moisture out, I think. <laughs> and that is it. I think that's all that's in the box. So here's your keyboard and there's a cable. Oh, the instruction manuals in here. All right, that's fine. So we just open this and we take it out and boom, there is the keyboard and if I can get out this manual, keep sticking back and here is the manual. So as you can see here, it's 2.4 gigahertz and it's also Bluetooth. You can connect up to two Bluetooth devices, Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2. So if you have a laptop and you have a computer or if you have a phone um, and a computer, you can do that or you can just plug in the dongle. So there's a good connectivity here, rechargeable as well, which is awesome. Just a um, quick start guide here, just showing where the charge ports are on and off, how to uh, Bluetooth connect and everything you guys can read this if you're struggling to connect to bluetooth and that i'm not going to go into this much though as you can read that in your own time all right it's pretty cool you got the manual there if you need it and here's the keyboard itself so first impressions feels really strong do a quick bend test very very rigid um tiny bit of flex but it's it's pretty thin and it's very well built first impressions uh, so on the back here, you just got your on and off switch. It's nice there. It's got a green when it's on and a red when it's off. There's your receiver in there. Nice that they've got a little pouch there. It just says Jelly Comb there, branding. And you've got quite a nice like leather kind of um, uh, wrist rest here, which is pretty cool. Keys here. Give a quick click. They feel really good, actually. Very good. Space bar feels really nice first impressions and yeah so there's your unboxing and first impressions so far so good out of the box it feels really good and I'll talk to you in about a week after using this and I'll uh, give my overall opinion
So as you guys heard from that sound test, the keyboard sounds pretty good in my opinion. Um, I did boost the audio so you could hear it more clearly. The keyboard is actually fairly quiet in real life. Um, but the keys feel great. There's a uh, pretty good feedback when pressed down. There's actually a decent amount of uh, travel as well for the keys. And they actually feel pretty good. Definitely some of the best membrane uh, switches I've ever used, which is great. They're not going to be as good as in mechanical, but they're pretty good. When it comes to the ergonomics, the ergonomics are great. It's so comfortable to use this keyboard. Um, the leather wrist rest is just awesome for your, for your palms. Um, you don't feel any sort of like like soreness there after using for a long period of time. It feels really good. Uh, the ergonomic design takes a while to get used to. Um, I use two keyboards, so I use this one for like when I'm not gaming and I'm like doing other stuff, and then I use my mechanical one when I'm gaming. So if you're not switching between boards, I feel like you'll get used to this ergonomic design easier. But it's definitely more comfortable typing on this than it is typing on my normal board because of this layout and the nice wrist rest and that. But I wasn't able to get to full speed on this because I was switching between two keyboards, one for gaming and uh, one for like productivity and normal stuff. Um, but I think if you put the time in, if you put like, if you use this keyboard as your main keyboard, you'll get used to it straight away. Um, I was typing about half of my normal speed on this board. Um, but I think if you're using this as your main board, that won't be an issue and you'll get used to it and it'll feel great. One neat feature I actually found was I was actually concerned about the dongle placement at the back. Uh, it's in the open there and it's like just sitting there. Um, and I was worried like if you picked up the keyboard, if you shook the keyboard, uh, it may fall out. But they've actually thought about that and it's actually magnetic. Normally they come with a flap so like they're hidden. But it's actually magnetic there which is pretty cool. When it comes to battery life, uh, battery life for me was around 150 to 200 hours. Um, I mainly used in Bluetooth mode, um, so I don't know if Bluetooth mode is better or worse for battery life compared to 2.4 gigahertz. But I mainly used in Bluetooth just because there's no USB ports required or anything. Um, but this does have uh, two uh, Bluetooth device pairing modes as well as USB mode, so you can have up to three devices paired. As I mentioned in the unboxing part, Type-C charging is really nice to see on this keyboard. Uh, charging is actually pretty quick. Um, I didn't fully drain the keyboard, but it took about two hours to charge from about 20%. So in conclusion, would I recommend this board? I would say yes, but depending on who you are. So if you're a gamer, yeah, just, just don't look at this. Just get something mechanical or something. Um, but I feel like if you're like, uh, someone who works like in an office or you do like coding or something and you constantly have your hand on the keyboard all day. Uh, I feel like this is an absolutely great keyboard for that. It's so comfortable. Um, the quality of the switches are great too. They're not mechanical, but they're still great. And I also did some research. And personally, I think this is quite an expensive board at £60 for a non-mechanical board. But compared to some of the competition like Logitech, Logitech's equivalent to this board is around 150 pounds which is kind of crazy so this seems like a steal at around 60. anyway thank you so much for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to help support what i do affiliate links for um this keyboard will be in the description if you want to purchase through that it'll mean a lot thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in the next video peace out